What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and today we are back with some more NCAA Football 14. We got three recruits coming to town today. That's right. Today, they're coming to town. This is our big board. These are the guys that we're going after. I never feel like I've been particularly good at recruiting in NCAA Football 14, uh, but I think I'm getting better at it. You, you guys can let me know. Maybe I'm, I have too many points on one guy that I don't need to have any points on and so on and so forth, but I just, like, I'm not trying to lose nobody, and I'm not trying to, like, make any big mistakes where, like, I missed out on somebody that I clearly could have gotten uh, and so on and so forth. I mentioned this earlier that I did want to recruit guys who are around 65 and above as far as our overalls are concerned. We can't really be too picky because we're still, you know, a team that really hasn't been that relevant for like the past maybe decade and a half, talking about Syracuse, obviously. But I think moving to the Big Ten and maybe beating some teams in the Big Ten will help. We beat Minnesota. We lost to Rutgers, who is now part of the Big 12. We lost to them at MetLife Stadium. Uh, that sucked. But we came back, beat Minnesota on the road. Now we're going to be home for the first time this season, taking on Michigan State. So what more do you want? Let's try to show these three recruits that are coming to town that this is where you want to play your college football at for the orange of Syracuse, okay? First down and 10, we're going to run the ball. And Smith goes up the gut, and he's going to pick up three. Second down and seven, going to follow his blocks, falls forward through the traffic, and picks up a first down. So first down and 10, we're going to get that thing to Smith to the left side. He's going to pick up four yards. Second down, six yards to go. Allen fires it to West. And West is like a solid receiver. I want to get him more touches in week one. We got him the ball like maybe once or twice versus Minnesota. He got a bunch of touches. I want that same thing to happen here. Getting number 88 the football. We tried to right there, but that pass will fall to the grass on third down. Our first incompletion turns into a punt. Maxwell going to drop it off the hill. Hill's going to try to turn the corner on the screen pass, but John Raymond is there for the tackle. They can go to Hill again. And he's going to go nowhere fast. This defense can run. That's one thing I'm noticing, that this team can run. So we get the football right back. Allen, he's going to get upfield. Gain of nine. Got to keep that read option going. We're going to run it again. If they ain't going to stop it, we ain't going to change it up. And he's breaking ankles and breaking hearts, too. <laughs> you love to see it. My uh, great value, Tim Tebow, doing his thug fizzle. Drew Allen going to fire this thing. Going to be caught by Smith. Now, the timing was thrown off, and that might have cost us probably our best player on the offensive side of the ball so Jerome Smith is going to be out for the rest of this one we get the ball to Gully he's going to go nowhere so third down and 13 Allen from the pocket throws it and it was an ugly duck that hits the grass and right now we're four for six for six yards not the greatest stat line but maybe it will improve second down and one Hill gets the carry trying to turn the corner and Davis is there to clean him up Set up third down and four. Maxwell with the football. John Raymond in your backfield. You might want to double team him. First down and 10. Allen, some screen pass. Gully receives it. Makes the catch. Makes a man miss. Crosses the 50. We're about two yards shy of the first down. Second down and two. Can we pick up Deuce? Deuce, we can as we pick up around five and a first down for Syracuse. Play fake now. Allen lets it fly. It's going to be caught, and that's going to take us to the second quarter of play with a first down in our back pocket. So still tied up at 0-0. Nobody is trying to score. Well, I take that back. We're definitely trying to score, and maybe we can do that on this drive. We pick up five right there. Third down and two. Allen looking downfield. Caught by Cobena, and he's going to have a first down. Second down and four. We're going to run the ball. Gully up the gut and get stonewalled. At the one yard line. So second down to go. We need three feet. That's all I need. And that's what we got. Touchdown. And just like that, we strike first. We put up six up on the board. It's now 7 nothing. Syracuse on top. Hill with a vicious stiff arm. Then powers through some more traffic. Going to pick up eight. Michigan State's going to run the football again. And we force him out of bounds, but until he picks up a fresh set of 10 for the Michigan State Spartans. Now Langford, he's in the ball game. He gets the carry. And number 33 goes for a gain of seven. Setting up second down and three to give it to Hill. Hill's going to get upfield quickly. Gets brought down after a gain of seven. So Michigan State's starting to put a drive together. Third down and 11 now, though. Maxwell fires it, and Lang hauls it in. Gain of 13 on that pass and a fresh set of 10. Now Maxwell to the left side. He won't get away from everybody. 
Gain of just one. He had to run a long way to get that one yard. Maxwell, he's going to keep it again. No, because Raymond is there. His third, no, his second sack, excuse me, his second sack of the first half. Lankford, he gets to carry again. Stonewall, brick wall, roadblock. You're not going to get the necessary yards. They got to settle for a field goal. The kick is up, and the kick is good. He hit that one a country mile. So they got to they gotta set up for a field goal, but that could be a win if you really think about it. That was a long field goal attempt. So we run the football. We're going to pick up a couple. But holding, so bring it all the way back. Second down and 14 now. Allen fires it. Caught by West on the slant route. As soon as he makes the catch, he gets tackled for a gain of six. So third down and eight now. Allen steps up. Avoids the rush. And he's going to get loose. They should have had him for a sack. Instead, it's going to be 100 yards rushing for the team. And a fresh set of 10. West makes the catch on second down and 11. Gain of eight. Third down, three yards to go. Allen has the football, throws it underneath the gully, and he's going to fall forward for a first down. So West and Gully are main weapons as of right now. We throw the gully again. He's going to get out of the tackle. Takes a nasty hit, but picks up nine. Second down and one. Throwing a bullet to Fleming. Fleming inside the five, and his first catch is a good one for a gain of 32. A little post pattern. In between the safeties, a perfect pass by Drew Allen. And here comes Syracuse back inside the five. Second down and goal. Allen throws a slant route. Cobena is there. Touchdown for my main man, Kobe. And we are going to take a 14-3 lead into the second half. So big time ball game. And we're winning in our second big time game of the big 10 game of the season first one at home here in the carrier dome so crazy stat line for michigan state they barely they don't they don't have 50 yards of total offense now they do as lippet makes the catch and that's the result in the first down for tony lippet gaining 22 but at the end of the first half they had less than 50 yards of total offense that is absolutely ridiculous but now the quarterback getting busy in the read option game is andrew maxwell Picks up a first down. Maxwell going to pitch it this time. Hill is loose. Hill makes a guy miss. Picks up nine yards. Second down and one. Maxwell has it. Throws it and overthrows everybody. The mascot had a better chance of catching that thing than the Spartans receiver. Third down and one. Langford gets to carry. Headed to the five. Crosses the five on a gain of 12 and sets up first down and goal. Hill gets to carry. Hill going to try to turn the corner. No. Road block. You best go the other way. They're going to run the ball again on second down to go. Can we get another stop? We can. Look at the orange. They hunt in packs. Third down and goal. Maxwell fires it. It's caught, but not going to be enough to get into the end zone. They stop the yard shy. They bring out the field goal team. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So Syracuse holds yet again, forcing them to take another field goal. 14 to 6 is the score. Cobena. To the left side. Turns the corner up to the 30. Crosses the 40. In the Spartan territory. Cuts it back. And he's going to get dragged down at the, what, Michigan State 47 maybe? So we're going to go for the pass. We can't even get the pass off. We're going to get sacked right there. Third down and 16. Allen fires. Just leave my tight end wide open. Just leave him open. Wide open. I appreciate that. Left wide open. We find him first down. Second down and seven. Gully putting on the moves and picks up another first down. Ground game. Percolating. Passing game. In fuego. And they're trying to cool us off. Right there we get sacked. Setting up second down and 21. Read option. Allen is loose. Picks up a good block on the outside. 10-5. Give him six. Drew Allen showing off the wheels, and we are now up 21 to 6. So up by four, up by 15. Let me get my math right. As Hill has a good kicker, turn up to the 38-yard line. Maxwell throws it, caught by Lang, racing up field, Co a collision for the first down for Michigan State. Maxwell has the football, throws it to the right side. That pass is dropped. That's pathetic. Third down and ten. Maxwell looking down. Field has a man wide open. That's laying it again. And here come the Michigan State Spartans trying to make something happen. Second down and seven. Read option. Maxwell going to get brought down before he can pick up the first down. They're looking at third down and two. Maxwell heaves it over the middle. Caught for a first down just shy of the ten. So they could get a first down without getting a touchdown. But they're going to go for the whole enchilada. 
Touchdown for Fowler. Got his legs taken out from underneath him. But he had, hangs on to it. He seems to be perfectly fine. And we got to score because now it's a one possession game. Going to find Christopher Clark. Makes the catch first down. Bring out that read option one more time. Perfectly blocked. And Allen is loose yet again. Crosses the 40. And he's going to pick up 24 yards on that carry. First down and 10. Screen pass. Gully has it. Gets away from one man. Inside the 25 and tripped up at the 21-yard line. And now we're going to head to that fourth quarter, protecting the eight-point lead. And we're creeping towards that end zone. So second down and 10 now. Allen has it. Throws it towards the end zone. Caught by Wales. Touchdown, Syracuse. And just like that, it is now 28 to 13. So Michigan State's going to have to score twice. They have to do it kind of quickly and hope that we can don't score or all their efforts are going to go to waste. So first down and 10. Looking downfield is Maxwell. In a set of a screen pass. Hill makes the catch. Picks up a good block. He's going to get loose as he gets away. And he's going to get all the way to the 40-yard line. So gain of 24. Now they're in our territory. They run the ball with Langford. Langford going to follow the big fellas up front. He's going to pick up a gain of around 13 on the first set of 10. But now it's third down and 12. Let's see what they can do here. They got to score a touchdown. The field goal really doesn't do anything for him. And that pass is caught but shy of the first down. Fourth and one. Toss play. Hill has blockers. Hill's going to turn the corner, and he's going to do more than pick up a first down. He's going to get that thing in the end zone. So touchdown for Nick Hill. They're going to go for the two-point conversion, and they're not going to get it. So it's still a two-possession game. 28-19 is the score. We're going to run the ball. Kelly up that gut. Great blocking. You love to see it. I love to see it, and it's exactly what the doctor ordered. Second down and four. Kelly to the left side. Picking up yet another fresh set of 10. 4, 4, 4 12, excuse me, on the clock. And we're going to pick up four yards. Second down and six. 3.33 to go. We're going to run the ball. Kelly gets brought down fairly quickly. So this is a big play right here. Can't pick up the first down. Third down and three. Throwing it. It's going to be caught by West. And now Michigan State is going to have to start burning those timeouts. Gully on the ground. Breaks a tackle. Falls forward for a gain of eight. And Michigan State is down to one timeout now. Third down to one, and we get caught up in traffic. They're going to burn the last timeout. We set up for a field goal. The kick is up. Kick is good. And now it's a 12-point game. So 31-19 is the score. Third down and six. They fire to the left side. Caught by Hill. He's going to work his way through traffic for a first down. Third down and inches now. Maxwell under some pressure. Takes a hit. Throws it in that pass. Falls to the turf. Fourth and inches. Maxwell looking downfield, gonna find his man, and that's gonna result in a first down. A perfect call. Good execution. You got yourself a fresh set of 10 also. They fired over the middle. Another catch and another first down. And now, if they can score here quickly, get some luck on the onside kick. We still got a football game, but there goes John Raymond, his third sack of the game. Fourth and goal. Maxwell has it, fires it, batted away. And we're going to walk up out of here with the victory. So that's going to give us two wins in a row. We did lose the Rutgers game one, but we beat Minnesota and we beat Michigan State. So we're 2-0 in Big Ten play. Allen just missed on two passes, 186 yards, two touchdowns, 90% 90, 90 completion percentage. Absolutely filthy. Gully, our first 100-yard rusher of the season, is our backup tailback. Jerome Smith should be back for our next game versus Penn State. Uh, that screen pass, poor timing. Maybe if we throw it on time, he doesn't get rolled up on and hurt. But, hey, it is what it is. Got to move on. Gully also chipped in with 38 yards receiving. Just an all-purpose back. I love those. Maybe you don't. Maybe like the big power guys. I like an all-purpose back. Throw it to him in the flat. Let him go 100 yards. Okay, maybe not 100. But you know what I'm saying. Defense, our linebacker court is absolutely filthy. Davis, he gets after it. Uh, Raymond, today was his day. Four tackles for loss, three sacks. He was the pass rush. Absolutely filthy day for him. And now we got more guys wanting to come for a visit. So we have another home game. They're going to come to see us play Penn State. Penn State, I thought, was going to be maybe the favorite to win this game. I think that they are a better team on paper. Their overall is higher. However, I mean, when it comes to season stats, 
right there. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, let's go back to the Carrier Dome. Penn State, Syracuse, game number two. It is game number four overall, Big Ten Conference game. Let's get right into the action. Colbena, he's going to hit that corner like he does so well. He's up the sideline, crosses midfield, breaking ankles, breaks away, still on his feet. Runs into his own man that slows him down, and he gets dragged down at the 25-yard line. So an incredible kick return to kick things off. Allen fires it to the flat. Smith makes the catch, and that's going to result in a gain of around six. Third down and inches. We're going to run that read option. Allen breaks the tackle. Allen going to stay on his feet and pick up the first down. Drew Allen missed to do it all. West makes the catch. First down and goal. We could have got a first down or a touchdown. We got the first down, but now let's get the touchdown. And Jerome Smith would do just that. Jerome in the house. Christian Hackenberg, freshman quarterback. One of the best freshman quarterbacks in the country. He's wearing number 10 because I think he thought that Eli was going to come back to college wearing number 10. He was like, I'll take it. So the first play was a gain of two. Second down and eight. Hackenberg, he's going to test the ground game, and he's going to pay the price. He doesn't get a first down. So they get the ball to double Z. Zach Zawinak is loose. And Zawinak to the 40. Breaks a tackle. Still on his feet. Gain of 28. And that's definitely going to give them a first down on third and short. Second down and three. Quick pass. Man left wide open. That is Matt Lehman. First down. Gain of 23. Second down and goal. Hackenberg gives it to Zach Zawinak. And he goes nowhere fast. Third and goal. Hackenberg fires it. Screen pass. Goes nowhere Wilkes was there to lay down the running back. They're going to have to set up for a field goal. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So second down and four in a 7-3 ball game. We're going to run the ball with Smith. Picks up the first down by the hairs of his chinny chin chin. Allen fires it. Wales makes the catch. One of the best tight ends in the Big Ten. I am 100% biased, but I love my tight end. First down and 10. We're going to run that read option, and Allen. Just gets tattooed in the rib cage. Second down and 13. We give it to Jerome Smith. He meets a roadblock. So we're going to spread things out. Third down and 13. Throwing it up. And our prayer was answered. Christopher Clark brings it down. How we completed that pass is beyond me. First down and 10. We're going to run the football out of the shotgun formation. Smith got blockers in front. And picks up a gain of round nine. Second down and inches. We give it to Gelly. He breaks free. Gain of four. It was an impressive gain of four. Gets brought down after that, but has a first down. Allen dropping back and gets drilled in his back. Setting up second down and 17 after the sack. Looking down. Phil's going to be caught by West in between that cover two look. Right in between the safety and the corner. A perfect pass. A marvelous missile. And that's going to take us to the second quarter of play. So we're up by four in this Big Ten contest. We're going to run the ball with Smith. Going to try to turn the corner, and he does. Touchdown, Syracuse. Jerome Smith back in the house. 14-3 is the score. First down and 10. That pass going to be caught by Carter. And Carter going to rumble his way. That's their second string tied in. Play fake now. Looking downfield, and that pass is going to be caught by Robinson, and that's going to be a first down. Allen Robinson making his first catch of the contest. Heckenberg looking downfield, and he's going to get dropped in the backfield. Loss of five. This defensive line is hunting, and they're hunting well. Third down and seven after the pickup of eight. So third down. They need seven. They throw it. It's going to be caught, and that's going to be a first down. So Penn State definitely are some cool customers that continue to convert on third down. That pass was caught by Kenny. They give the ball to Zach Zawinak. He's going to pick up around nine yards and takes a nasty hit by Lynn. So third down and one. When you get smacked like that by a cornerback, you know you're in a physical contest. And now Hackenberg is showing off his physical prowess. Breaks the tackle using the stiff arm and picks up again at 22. Hackenberg going to hand it off. Another big stiff arm. Touchdown, Zach Zawinak. And now it is a 14-10 ball game. So almost every game this year has been close. The Minnesota game kind of got away from Minnesota, but this one looks to be another close contest. We're going to run the ball with Smith. Smith gets away from one guy and picks up six. And now it's going to be second down and four. Penn State sends a four-man rush. Going to be caught by Smith over the middle. Takes a nasty hit, but has a first down. Third down and four. We drop it off to Gully. He's going to take another big hit. Penn State is just lining us up and bringing the lumber. 
We're going to run the football with our quarterback. We ain't trying to get him killed, but it's a necessity in this one. Looking now, Phil, that pass. Going to be caught by Wales in between two defenders. Hauls it in for a first down. First down and 10. Allen surveys the field, drops it off to West. West works his way upfield, and he's going to have a gain of 11 and another fresh set of 10 for Syracuse. First and goal. Give it to Wales. And Wales gets stopped just shy of the goal line. Could we get a goal line stand? Or could Penn State get a goal line stand or not? You're not going to get that goal line stand. We're going to walk this thing into the end zone. Jerome Smith with touchdown run number three today. Hackenberg under pressure and down he goes. Defensive line continues to hunt. Third down and six. Hackenberg looking downfield. Nothing doing. Another sack for this D-line. And that's going to send us to the second half of play. So 21 to 10 is the score. We are They're going to get the ball to start the second half. They need to score on this drive because I think all the momentum is Syracuse way as of right now. Zaxxon Winnack going to pick up around seven. Christian Hackenberg, he has it, fires it to Carter. And Kyle Carter has a first down gain of 18. Second down and 10. Hackenberg slides right. Won't avoid the rush. He gets drilled in his back. It's another sack for this Syracuse Orange defense. Third down, 18 to go. They fire. It's going to be caught by Matt Lehman. But it's not going to be nowhere near the first down. So they did pick up 12. They need an 18. We're going to pick up six right down. First down and 10 with Jerome Smith. Second down and four. Give it to Smith again and watch the young man do his thing. First down. We're going to throw it to West coming across the middle. He hangs on to it. Timely hit. But it will not knock the football out. Second down and five. Huge hit on the quarterback. And Drew Allen goes down. Loss of 11. Third down and 16. And we find Wales wide open. He's going to pick up around 20. And we got ourselves a fresh set of 10. First down and 10. Allen looking downfield. Out route caught by Clark. And he's going to pick up around 11. So we continue to move the ball when we need to. We run the read option. And we're going to pick up around 7. Third down and inches. Can we pick it up? We're going to run it, and we will pick it up. Nice move. Had one defender to beat, and he beat him for a gain of five in the fresh set of ten. Second down. Ten yards to go. Thrown to the turf yet again. Loss of seven. It's third down and 17. Allen looking downfield. Throws. It's going to be broken up by Davis, and we're going to have to kick the football away. No, we're going to try the field goal, and we got a lot of leg into it, but not enough leg into it. And the score will remain 21 to 10. Zawinick, to, Zawinack, excuse me, to the outside, going to pick up three. Hackenberg fires it. That pass going to be caught by Mosby Fielder, and that's going to result in a first down. Second down and 11 now. Hackenberg looking under pressure, gets away. Still on his feet, throws it. Lehman is there for the reception. Third down and four now. They empty the backfield out. Hackenberg fires it. Caught by Kenny. He's loose in the secondary. Finally dragged down after a gain of 20. So Penn State is trying to go toe for toe, blow for blow, and come back in this one. They run the ball for a gain of five. I formation. They run the ball again, and they're going to pick up four. So third down and one. They're going to run the ball, read option, Hackenberg has it, and he gets pummeled, but he does pick up a first down. He needs to protect himself. They're going to run the ball. Zawinak going to pick up two, and that's going to take us to the fourth quarter of play, Penn State marching. So second down and goal. They run the ball right up the middle, and we get the stop. Setting up third down and goal. They run it again, and this time they easily get into the end zone. So they could kick the field goal, go down by four. Instead, they're going to go for two, try to make it a three-point game, and they met an orange roadblock. Nothing doing right there. So here we go, first down and ten. Allen has the football, surveys the field, throws it. It's going to be intercepted, and that is the first mistake of the ball game, and it results in a pick six. So the other game, the only other game that we lost, we threw an interception. That went for a pick six. Right here we throw a pick six, and it has us down by one. They go for two. They're not going to get it. So 22 to 21 is the score. Can we just let go of that interception and come back? We're going to fire it to Wells. Going to pick up a gain of six. Third down and two. Dropping it off. Smith is wide open. He has real estate. He's going to cross the 50, cross the 40, and tripped up two yards shy of the 35. 
Now we're gonna run the ball with Allen, runs it to his own man, gets away from him, gets away from a couple Nittany Lions, and picks up seven. Second down, deep shot, caught! Touchdown, Orange! The Syracuse Orangemen have come back to take the lead. We're gonna go for two. Allen is gonna keep it, and Allen gets into the end zone. So 29 to 22 is now the score. Hackenberg gonna weave through traffic like a mama new hair do. And that's going to result in a first down. First down and 10. They're going to run the low screen pass. And good job getting him out of bounds, but still going to result in a gain of six. Second down and four. Play fake. Hackenberg fires it. It's going to be caught, and it's a first down. So, again, Lindy Lions continue to be able to march the ball here in the second half. Great stiff arm and a gain of eight for Zach Zawinak. They're going to run the ball. Hackenberg to the 30, to the 25, to the 20. Finally gets touched. Inside the 20 and dropped at the 16-yard line. Hackenberg fires it to the end zone. Caught by Lehman. Touchdown, Penn State. And this ball game is going to be all tied up at 29. So third down and one. Allen fires it. Caught by Cobena. And that's going to result in a first down. Second down and 12. Quick pass. Batten makes the catch. Our second string tied in. His first catch of the season. And this is a solid one for a gain of eight. Third down and four. Quick pass to the flat. Caught by Jerome Smith. Crosses the 50, but we need to get past the 40, 48, I'm guessing. So fourth and inches. We're going to go for it. We're going to get it. Kind of a risky decision right there, being so close to midfield. Second down and two. We're going to run the ball with Smith, and Smith just got tattooed. Third down and two. We're going to run the read option. And Allen can get tackled for loss, and that actually might move us out of field goal range. So Penn State will get the football back. They will do nothing with it. 29-29 is the score at the end of regulation. So overtime now. Penn State, they want it. They want to play defense. They want to toss, I mean. So Smith up there. Got, has a first down, but there's a flag on the play. He's going to be clipping on the offense. So back this up. Second down and 16. Send up a screen pass. It's going to be caught by Smith. Smith picks up a block, but needs another block. But he gets drilled in his face mask. Third down and 15. Allen. Has it. Fires it into a crowd, and that's going to be intercepted for the second time today. And that is not what we needed. Another bad read, another pass that shouldn't have been thrown, but we force it in there anyway. So Hackenberg looking downfield. That pass going to be caught by Carter. Carter is loose. Picks up a block by Lehman. He's going to walk into the end zone, and we lose our first Big Ten contest of the season. It comes versus Penn State. That's going to be a Jeopardy question or that new show Peyton Manning has where he asks college people college questions. Or whatever. It's going to be one of those shows. So we do lose to Penn State. That's 100% on me. Two interceptions that cost us. That pick six really cost us. We, we were up by, what, a touchdown basically. And we probably would have drove down because each possession of this game, we were able to drive down the field. Whether that resulted in points or at least a field goal try. It resulted in something good for us. We were able to keep our defense off the field, keep them well rested, well rested, and obviously uh, take some time off the clock and keep the other offense led by Christian Hackenberg off of the field as well. So we probably would have drove down and took some time off the clock. Well, that pick six, it hurt because we weren't able to do any of those things, and we gave them the lead. So we were playing catch up. Obviously, we scored again, and then they came back and scored again, and then that overtime interception to seal the deal that definitely sucked so we got to play a little bit better got to make better reads than what we did but i do think that we're going to be playing a little bit better than expected we're probably going to get to a ball game we do have some stiffer competition down the road but i do think that this is a ball game caliber team so we're going to see what happens hope you guys enjoyed the video hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day too many again my friends peace love hot sauce